morning guys it is currently 1106 on september 4th it's a sunday we have a really exciting day today i want to talk to you guys in a bit because i just had a few thoughts i want to share what happened this morning but um basically today we're going to be doing a little solo date yesterday i dyed my hair i went back to my natural color which is brown so yeah this is how i look now i'm getting used to it like waking up this morning and seeing that my hair was dark sorry there's a mirror on the back of my phone case so anyways i'm actually really happy with it and i feel like it just feels like me and it's nice to have a new change i got that done yesterday and then today i'm actually gonna go take myself on a little date i'm gonna go to the royal ontario museum is that what it stands for it's the ROM. I don't know what it stands for, but it's basically a museum that's pretty big in Toronto. So we're going to be going downtown and then I'm going to meet my cousin for dinner at this really cute little patio restaurant. We booked for inside because it might rain, but if it doesn't rain, I'm going to see if they can put us outside. Now let me get into what happened this morning because trauma, literal trauma. So I woke up feeling wonderful. I woke up late. I slept in today, which sometimes I do on the weekends, but I realized that I need to maybe not do that because I woke up feeling a little bit anxious. And usually I wake up, I get out of bed, and then I either read or I journal, like straight thing in the morning for a good 30 minutes, no phone, and no just like outside world. And it's really, really good for me. But for some reason, I guess on weekends, my brain just is like, no, you don't have to do that. But then I end up feeling like off because I didn't do it. So I need to make sure I'm doing that on the weekends. But anyways, I woke up. And then I went to the bathroom to go like get my toothbrush and take it into the shower. And I have one of the electric toothbrushes. So it has like the head that you put on top of it. And then I had like a cover on top. But the cover is one of those ones that like is open. You just kind of slide it off. It isn't an actual like shut completely thing. I go pull off the fucking cover for my toothbrush. A big ass spider falls into my sink. A big ass spider was sleeping with my toothbrush. No, 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 no. I obviously took off the toothbrush head and I threw it out. I need to order some more on Amazon and I threw out the cover as well. I had just like a regular dollar store toothbrush in my um, little storage area. So I just took out that. That's what I'm using for right now. But like, what the fuck? Why did that have to happen? I have these snacks here from what I was eating last night. I want to show you guys them because they're lately my favorite snacks. I've been really trying hard to not eat as much processed sugar and also not as much like oily foods. I still eat it, but like I just try not to eat it as much because before it was like that was what I would eat sometimes throughout the day and then definitely at night I would like go crazy and eat all of that. So I just like something sweet at night. I feel like I always have. It's been like an ongoing joke with my mom's side of the family that I always have a midnight snack. Like it's just 2 a.m. I don't think it's gonna change. So I just need to make my snacks a little healthier. So I've been obsessed with these mango, dried mango. It's so yummy. And then also, these are so yummy. They are the milk chocolate pretzels with a peanut butter filling. They look like this, they're so yummy. But yeah, I think right now it's 11.10. I wanna go to the museum for around two and I think there might be a good amount of traffic because the freaking CNE, like the exhibition center is having their event. So the traffic downtown has been insane. So I know coming back might be bad and I wanna make sure I have enough time going there. Oh, it's 11.11. I'm gonna make a matcha. That sounds kind of good. I kind of want a matcha. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a matcha right now. Yeah, what do you guys think of the hair? It's so dark. It's kind of insane seeing myself with this dark of hair, you know? This morning, I was listening to Alexander Lior's affirmations, and they were on self-worth and um, self-esteem. There are these ones if you guys are curious. That's what the title of the video is. And I basically just kind of got lost in the thought of thinking about the mental blocks that we have that hold us back from having our manifestations. For example, I would love for YouTube to be like one of my main sources of income, and 
I would love to have like a large community on here and to be able to do this as like a job, not just a passion. And I was trying to figure out what it is that makes me feel like YouTube's not a valid job. And obviously it's like the programming we've been taught that we have to be in a factory or in an office space or a doctor or a lawyer, or all of these other jobs, right? Jobs that encourage freedom, like even for example, being an entrepreneur, just in general, usually aren't that pushed by society. Now they're coming becoming popular, but people have really used fear as a way to like hold us back from doing that because it promotes freedom and that's not really what we, you know, you get what I'm saying. Anyways, so I was thinking about it and I realized that I do believe that I can have a large community following me. I think the mental block that I have is feeling like making a large amount of money off of doing something that I love. For some reason, my brain, and I'm gonna try and work to unlearn this, can't accept that a job can be something that makes me happy and that fulfills me, which is so sad. But I feel like this can apply for so many people. Like if you have a dream job or you have this dream vision of your life, but then you feel like it's not possible and it's because probably you have accepted subconsciously that you can't make a lot of money doing something that you do automatically or like something that you love. Like say for example, you love knitting, super random, but let's just say you love knitting. You won't be able to fathom the fact that you can make a lot of money off of knitting because it's something you just naturally love. And until we unlearn that, until we learn that we are here to do what we love and be rewarded for it, the universe rewards us for doing the things that make us happy, right? Like we're coming here to be happy. The universe doesn't want us to suffer in these jobs and feel like everything is pointless and like we're kind of just waiting for the end. The universe wants us to come and make the best of our lives and to be able to take control of our lives and do things that are going to make us happy. And when we do that, we get rewarded, which is why so many people, we can see like, you know, celebrities or people who are poor that made it up. And just like all of those stories, it's not just by luck. It's because the universe is rewarding that person for deciding, you know what, I want to do what makes me happy. I want to be happy here. That is my goal. And so I think it's just interesting if you guys are curious how i'm going to be unlearning this so that you guys can maybe implement it as well i'm definitely going to write down in, um, affirmations or i already have written down affirmations that kind of counteract this thought and help me to rewire my brain let me grab the journal and then i can read them to you so i wrote down i am worthy of making money from my passions i am worthy of loving my career i am worthy of receiving abundance i do not need to work hard to create and have my dream life a job doesn't have to feel like work. I love what I do. The universe rewards me for making a positive change. The universe rewards me for making myself happy. Basically, I just like kind of am choosing what I want to believe, choosing the thoughts that will end up serving me. And I'm going to be now basically teaching them to myself by reading affirmations or just writing them out in my journal and just kind of when I catch myself in a thought of like, oh, like YouTube's not a real job or that sort of thought process, I can interrupt myself and say, no, go back to doing what's making you happy, choosing the good feeling thought, and the universe will reward that. I don't have to do this whole struggle. Um, I don't have to put up res resistance to get what I want, because in the end, that's going to end up preventing that. You have to kind of let go a little bit. But yeah, I just want to share that because although it has nothing to do with this video, you know, I like to throw in little thoughts throughout my vlogs lately. But now let's make my matcha. This matcha is so good. I showed it to you guys. I got it at the uh, coffee shop that I go to in my area. 
but I'm sure you can get it online or something. It's so good. It is the best match I've ever tried. I'm gonna take my iron. I have decided that I'm gonna try to get off birth control. Um, actually, with my next pack, I'm gonna just not start taking it. And maintaining my iron, maintaining my health, that's part of the reason I'm not eating processed food, or not eating as much processed foods and sugars and all that stuff. Because I just really wanna make sure my body's at its healthiest that it can be. That way when I do get off the birth control, as I've mentioned before on this channel, I have PMDD, which is basically like a PMS disorder. Um, I just wanna make sure that I'm setting myself up for success and that I'm not getting off and then being like, oh my God, I feel like shit throughout this week. I wanna feel better off of birth control, you know? Um, I originally got on birth control when I was like in high school because I had killer cramps. Like my cramps were so bad, they were horrible. Like I would literally cry. But anyways, I've decided I wanna get off of it because I've just been on it for so long and my body deserves the best treatment and I know it's just really not good for you. It's not good for your kidneys. It's not good for just anything really. It's like really bad for you actually. But I know for some people, for example, like PM PMDD, for a lot of people who have it really, really, really bad, I wouldn't say I am as bad anymore thanks to my iron and my B-complex, but um, it's their only option for, for that. So I totally get that. I'm just sharing my experience. So I'll take you guys along that little journey. If you guys also have PMDD, I, def I definitely recommend checking out Bria Jones. She made a video talking about getting off birth control with PMDD and it was really really helpful she had a lot of knowledge she read a bunch of books on it and basically I'm just trying to like treat my body better and I'm trying to get back on taking my iron and my B complex more consistently because the past like week or two I've kind of fallen off of it I'm gonna eat this right now for lunch um it's two days past the best before date so I just want to finish it and it's also kind of later in the afternoon right now so I was gonna do a breakfast but I think I just need to finish this off I also need to put away all those dirty dishes put away those clean dishes and I really want to go through my fridge and just reorganize and kind of also declutter this is literally rat garbage <laughs> like what why does it taste like this it's not ew I don't know if it's the dressing or just like what's in it like it's not really like salad I don't know. Or maybe it's the fact that it's two days old. I literally can't eat this. Like, I need something else. This is not, this isn't happening. You should see me eating it. I'm like this. <laughs> so I have a few outfits already like made on my little rack here. And I think I might actually wear this today because it's not super cold out, but it's also not super warm and it seems like a little rainy. And then pants wise, this is where I have my pants. I kind of want to stick with the white theme because that, that color is nice. So I could do like these art vibes. So I might do that. I'm gonna try it on and we'll see, but first I'm gonna do my makeup. <laughs> Makeup is done. I feel like my nose co contour looks messy in that lighting. Maybe even in this lighting too. Actually, no, this lighting looks fine. I think I got my nose as snatched as I ever have. So, yay for that. But I'm going to get changed now. Okay, so I'll get changed and then we'll see how it looks. So this is the outfit. I like it. I just don't think I like these pants with the outfit because you can see like the bodysuit on my ass and I really hate that look. Or actually, I have green jeans that would go really well with this. One second. Okay, I think we have a winner. I feel really cute in this outfit. So I have on these green Princess Polly jeans. This bodysuit, I can't remember it's from. I got this from Shein. This purse is from Shein. And yeah, I feel really cute. I think it's really cute. These jeans are like the crossover ones. Super cute. I added jewelry. I just have on my little E, my amulet, and then my Aries necklace. And then on my ears, let me see if you guys can see. It's these tiny little earrings. They're kind of like little vines in a way. And then I have on... Uh, two little bangles from my Nana that I just put over my sleeve because I felt like it looked cute. 
I have on my Anna Luisa rings, as you can see. Still have on my slippers, so I need to put on my shoes. I'm gonna wear those. And then I showed you guys the bag already that I'm wearing. And that's pretty much it. It's almost one o'clock, so I'm gonna walk Miko. And then we're gonna see how long the traffic is gonna take and see what time I need to leave to get there for two. The spiders are everywhere today. Like, what's happening? I just pulled up at Wendy's because I realized I didn't eat. All I had today was a matcha and it's already like one something. So I figured I'd get something now and then head out onto the road. I'm kind of regretting not bringing my vlogging camera and vlogging on my phone because like I have a vlogging camera. I should use it. It's just, it makes me nervous. But part of me is like, get the fuck over it, you know? So I might go back and get it just to prove to myself that I can use it in public, especially when I'm alone. So when I'm alone, it's so much scarier. I literally just said that I want to try and eat healthier and not eat processed foods and not eat fried foods and stuff like that. And here I am getting Wendy's, but it's fine. I mean, I tried to eat a salad. You guys saw what happened. It wasn't good. I got a spicy Asiago sandwich, if you're curious. Yummy, and a fries and a Coke. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna get my camera because I don't really have time. It's already 1.30 and I need to get downtown. It's gonna take me about 30 minutes, a little more than 30 minutes to get to the parking lot I wanna get to. Then I have to walk over to the, the ROM and then me and my cousin have reservations for five, so it's not like I even have that much time. I mean, how many hours is that? If I get there for like 2.30ish, yeah, so like I have about like two hours or so, two, two and a half hours-ish to walk around. Sorry, there's food in my teeth. Um. And the ROM is really big, so yeah, I'm just gonna go now. And I feel like my makeup turned out really, really good. If you guys want a tutorial, well, let me know, because I did kind of different stuff today. wait till my cousin gets here i basically got creeped out at the museum for the last little second there but i'll tell you guys in a bit it wasn't anything that dramatic but like just men being in only here
is now 11 p.m. I just got home. Tonight was so much fun. Today was so much fun. I had so much fun at the museum. I really got to just like learn so much and see many pretty things and cool things. Miko's excited because I just got home. But um, yeah, it was really cool. I got to see a lot. It was a really fun experience and I'm really glad that I did that, especially by myself. Like even when I was there, I was thinking to myself, like if I was with someone, I would have to be with someone who kind of is cool to like venture on their own because like, I don't know, you know, different things interest different people. Like there's a lot of things I was passing by that someone else would find super interesting and like vice versa. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that I had a lot of fun. And then I had dinner with my cousin, which was really nice. We ended up just getting like tea and stuff afterwards because we just weren't done talking and we didn't want to walk around anymore. So we just caught up. It's so interesting because I don't see that cousin very often. Her name's Kiara, if you're curious. We grew up together when we were really little. We were together 24 seven. And then kind of throughout high school and stuff, we were talking about today, like we weren't that close and we didn't really catch up very often. We were very just like different people. And then within the past like three years, I would say, we've gotten really, really close, but we still only see each other like once a year. And it's so funny. Like she knows my deepest thoughts and I know her deepest thoughts, but yeah, we only see each other like once a year. So it's just funny that like, I don't know, time really is not of importance when it comes to like deep connections, if that makes sense. But yeah, I have a few people in my life like that where like I don't have to see them 24 seven and it can be like nothing's changed. Sam's like that too, my friend Sam. I see her more often now because she's not in school and she works at a place kind of near me and we have kind of our Wednesday dates. So like I see her more frequently, but we did go through a few years, especially like throughout college and stuff where I would only see her every few months. And so, yeah, it's nice to have people like that where you know that like the friendship isn't because of convenience, it's because of like actual value so anyways i just wanted to say that i had a really really good day one of the best days that i've ever had i feel like it's not true i probably feel like that about many days but today was a really good day and i'm really happy i got to capture it on camera at least some of it um that's pretty cool i have it as a memory now and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you and i was gonna end the vlog here but i figured i might as well take you guys along for kind of how i wind down for the night i actually just got this new light bulb let me show you guys the box so you can see but basically i got a new light bulb and i put it in this lamp instead of having my sunlight lamp here because it just didn't take up enough space it wasn't bright enough so i put the sunlight lamp in here and then this is the bulb that i just replaced in that it's from amazon um it wasn't too expensive and then in the bedroom as you guys know you've seen it before if you've on my if you've watched my channel i have the little sunlight lamp here as well as this connects to my phone so all of my lights are connected from my phone but it's like literally four different apps so they're not all in one app so when i'm like putting on the lights i go to like five different apps but it's fine i just really like the way it looks i have them all set to purple right now and it's just such a like it doesn't even pick up on camera just how nice it looks but it's so ah 11 11 again that's my second time seeing it today yeah really really happy with this so so as i said i'm taking you guys along for how i get ready for the night so first, first thing is i turn on all the lights in my house and then i fill up my hydro flask this water bottle is literally so good it keeps the water so cold or whatever temperature you put it in it's just going to keep it at that level and it's great because i hate warm water <laughs> So in the morning I can still drink the same water, which is nice. Also, yes, my pants are undone. I just peed and I'm about to change into my pajamas, so... Keep your thoughts to yourself, please. Miko gets on the bed and he waits for me to go to bed with him. I'm gonna throw all of these pillows into this little corner. Miko digs in the bed because he likes to dig. Watch. Pajamas. I think I'm gonna wear this new t-shirt that I got. I need some really comfortable underwear because that's crucial to a good night's sleep, let's be real. Now I need to get changed and then we'll wash off this makeup. I think I also need to do a little bit of a stretch because I feel like my leg is kind of hurting from walking so much today. That happens to me sometimes. Hey babe. Just finished 
washing my face and getting ready for bed. I'm gonna let him go pee and then we're gonna go straight to bed. So good night. I love you. Actually, I lied. I'm probably gonna journal because I just feel like it and start reading or not start reading. Continue reading my book. I know I'm coming, Bubba. And then yeah, go to sleep. Love you. Good night.